day to day. Right here in the newsroom, we are tracking Delhi's borders. As a little more than two years after they called off their massive protest at the doorstep of Delhi, farmers are once again on the road to the capital. These are farmers from Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. Thousands of farmers scheduled to march to Delhi today for the Delhi Chalo March. Now, what are they demanding? There's a 12-point agenda. But the primary demand that farmers are making is they're asking for legal guarantees of minimum support prices for for all the crops that they grow. That's their key demand. They're saying they want a legal guarantee that they at least receive the minimum amount when they choose to grow certain crops. Now, that demand is number one. They're also asking for farm loan waiver demands, complete uh, granting of waivers for all farmers across the states. That's the second key demand. Now, there are 12 demands as we told you earlier and it's important to keep in mind that these are different organizations from the organizations we saw organizing the marches two years ago. We're going to take a look at what's happening on the ground right now, not just what the demands of the farmers are, but also why they're asking for them and how their conversations with the central government so far have gone. They had their second round of talks uh, just two days ago. Those talks failed and now farmers have said, as we told you, that they're walking to Delhi. We're going to bring you all of these details. As we speak, Section 144 has been imposed in parts of Delhi in view of the march. We'll have multiple reporters on the ground. First, though, take a look at reactions. माननीय पीयूष गोयल जी राज्य सरकार के मंत्री और भारत सरकार के सभी पदाधिकारी के साथ साथ राज्य के भी बहुत सारे पदाधिकारियों की उपस्थिति में किसान संगठनों के साथ बातचीत बहुत गंभीरता पूर्वक हुई और सरकार हमेशा चाहती है कि बातचीत के माध्यम से हर किसी समस्या का समाधान हम निकाल सकते हैं बातचीत के माध्यम से हमें समाधान निकालना चाहिए सभी लोग एकदम रेडी हैं मीटिंगें चल रही हैं जो रात को अपना मीटिंग करके हमारे आगू साहबान आए ने वो अपनी अपनी पार्टी को सभी मीटिंगें लगा रहे हैं फिर डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइज सारा कुछ तैयारी के लिए जुड़ा हो पूरा प्रबंध जो कर रहे हैं जल पानी सभी लोगों ने शक लिया है हम नहीं चाहते कि हमारी वजह से कोई ट्रैफिक को परेशानी होए कोई आम जनता को परेशानी हो क्योंकि हम लोग लोगों ने इस जनता का जो है साथ लेना है सरकार जो है परेशान करने के चक्कर में है मीटिंग करके निकलते हैं तो जैसे ही आदेश मिलेगा फिर सभी लोग आगे को मार्च करेंगे आगे क्या होता फिर देखा जाएगा Okay, we're learning that the farmers will be holding a press conference at 9.30 a.m. today at Fatehgarh Sahib. We'll bring you more details about what's expected. My colleague Nikhil is with, the, with us to bring us more details. Nikhil, till late last night, uh, the tractor convoys were gathering. They were waiting for the word on how the negotiations were going. Uh, yesterday evening, they received word that the protests were on. Today morning, we're going to see a press conference taking place. What are farmers expected to declare at 9.30 a.m. today? Well, we need to see as to what exactly the conclusion uh, have taken place as far as the meeting between the central ministers and the farmers are concerned. And uh, as per the details, uh, the central ministers, including that of Piyush Goyal, Arjun Munda, who is the agriculture minister, and Nityanand Rai as well, they had gone to Chandigarh and the meeting started late in the evening at around 6 p.m., which lasted for over five hours. But so far, what we uh, have uh, gathered the information is said no additional uh, or no conclusion so far has come out from that particular meeting and the farmers have decided that starting from 10 a.m. today they are, they are going to officially march towards the side of the border and not just the uh, uh, Kisan or the farmers from the side of the Punjab and Haryana. There are many of the farmers who have come from different states as well including that of Karnataka, uh, UP, MP and uh, Maharashtra as well. In fact, there were some of the reports wherein it was mentioned yesterday that the farmers approaching from the side of the Karnataka, they were stopped by the MP police in some part of the Madhya Pradesh. So we need to see as to what exactly goes, uh, you know, in the press conference as well, which is slated to take place at about 9.30 a.m. But 
what we do know so far is that nothing conclusive has come out from that particular meeting there are a couple of demands to as you have rightly mentioned that 12 are, are, are the demands out of which two of uh, them are the major demand and the farmers have been saying this is something which is not the demand in fact this is the commitment which was provided by the central government two years back when the farmers agitated in the very first place at the borders of the national capital remember that was a particular protest which not only interrupted the operations at the capital city but also it lasted for over one year so that was something which brought the government down on its knees and just ahead of the Lok Sabha election uh, what we are again seeing that the farmers from across uh, the states they are yet again coming with their demands which they are saying that these are not necessarily the demands but the commitment which were made by the central government on the other side there is also a, 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 in fact a statement which has come out from the central government that there are a couple of issues on which the consensus has been made but others as far as the other issues are concerned the committee is something which is being recommended by the central government and this is something which is uh, you know uh, not a point where all the consensus is being made as far as the committee is okay. concerned many of the leaders of the uh, farmers they are saying when you have to uh, you know uh, let go of some particular topic you come up with the committee and things goes just likewise so this is the reason why yet again we are going to see this uh, uh, just ahead of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections farmers are all set to march inside the National Capital Delhi, starting 10 a.m. today. Back okay, to thank you. Uh, just let me tell our audiences, Nikhil, you are right now at the Delhi-Noida border. As you can see on our screens right now, we have three different reporters joining us. Each of them are joining us from different border points. We'll go over to our colleague Anvit. Anvit is joining us right now from the Tikri border. Uh, Anvit, just lay out for our audiences before you go ahead where the Tikri border is because we're focusing on three different borders right now around Delhi. Just tell our audiences where it is first, then tell us about the layers of barricading that are in place and farmers' plans to cross them because till late last evening, farmers were clear they were going to bring the equipment in to cross those borders. Tell us about what the plans are right now. Yeah, Toya, we are at Tikri border and if you talk about the location, uh, right across this uh, ba the, the, this border lies Jhajjar area of Haryana. So that is Jhajjar and we are right now standing in Delhi which is a Tikri area. We are at the Haryana-Delhi border and as you can see right now the movement of traffic is allowed. It is certainly, it has been narrowed and the bottleneck has been created because of the uh, of these containers that are kept here and the road has been narrowed at both sides so the traffic movement certainly is slow. But you can see the commercial vehicles as well as private vehicles are being allowed in and out of Haryana and Delhi. And right now there is no restriction on the movement of vehicles on either side. Senior officials who we spoke to said that, you know, right now because the farmers are also due to hold a press conference in that they'll announce whether or not they are marching towards Delhi and by what time will they be arriving in Delhi. Also, uh, the counterparts of the senior police officials in Haryana are yet to convey to the Delhi police that they have already crossed over into Haryana from Punjab and then they'll be approaching Delhi border. Only then police is saying that they'll be shutting down the border completely so that the commuters face least of inconvenience. Also, uh, rapid action force is uh, deployed. You can see the barricades, uh, they have uh, concertina wires atop them so that uh, no crossing of, uh, you know, uh, overboarding of barricade happens when uh, farmers arrive here. And these uh, barricades have been kept aside as of now because the traffic movement is not affected and police wants least convenience to the locals because the locals are the ones who are the most, uh, who the, who, you know, who suffer the most because of this entire thing. Last uh, time also in 2020 when the farmers had took siege of this entire area, a concrete wall had been erected, two layer wall had been erected and all the shops on both the sides had been shut for more than three months. So keeping that in mind, all these measures have been taken. Some of the commercial uh, you know, vehicles and trucks are also piled up here, which will be put in on the main road when the farmers decide to come and when they already approach the border so that the vehicles, you know, last time we saw in how in thousands of tractors the farmers had come. Also we witnessed what happened, what unfolded on January 26th. So police are taking, taking you know, all the precautions as well as the, uh, uh, you know, uh, as far as the farmers are concerned, uh, they, they have placed, uh, you know, major demands, uh, major of them, few of them main are uh, pension for farmers and labourers, you know, scrapping of all the uh, cases that were registered against farmers in the previous agitation and one of the main demand regarding the MSP 
is to implementing the Swaminathan Commission report, which right. also says the C250, uh, C2 plus 50 percent formula is to be implemented. So, keeping all that in mind, ground situation is this: that the RF is involved, uh, is deployed. Uh, Delhi Police is involved. Senior officials of Delhi Police of the rank of the Deputy Commissioner of Police and additional uh, DCP are already on ground since early morning, and they have been saying that only once they are uh, conveyed from their counterpart that the farmers are approaching, only then uh, these uh, uh, borders will be uh, closed. One okay. important thing, you can see this poster on this wall where locals have put up the poster, the Confederation of Bahadurgar Industries, which is the area where we are standing and in Jajjar, they have requested the farmers that, you know, please let us continue with our business and when we, uh, because this clearly indicates that when the farmers will be here, how local business will be affected okay. in this area. All right. Uh, Anvit, uh, Anvit is joining us right now from the Tikri border. Let's go over to our colleague Anshul. Uh, Anshul is standing right now in the Singhu border and Singhu and Tikri are the two borders that saw the most action when the farmers' protest took place two years ago. Anshul, we focused right now with Anvit on the inconvenience that may be caused to locals. But Anshul, with you, first just show us all of the security that has been put in place. But then Anshul, tell us about the conversation, the negotiations that the farmers were having with the government. Where did those negotiations stall? What led to farmers deciding that we need to walk to the capital? What were their demands and where was the government not meeting them? Uh, so yes, first of all, I like to show you in the visuals the kind of security arrangements that have that has been made out here at the Singhu border. Because remember, this was one of the epicenters of the protests that we saw in Europe during 20, 2020 and 2021. If I could just show you in the visuals behind me, at this point, bottlenecks have been created over here as well. Uh, absolute traffic has not been blocked at this point in time. You can see these containers that have been put up over here, and mud is being filled in the in these containers so that. Uh, uh, if at all tractors try to enter the national capital, uh, these uh, these containers would uh, prove as a barricade in front of them, and it would be very difficult for them to actually move this. On the other hand, you can you can see the kind of traffic arrangements uh, that have been made over here. There is definitely slow traffic that has yet again engulfed the Singhu border, both in uh, in the in lane and on the out lane as well. On the other hand, this is this is not the only arrangements that have been made, but absolutely, absolutely, there has been. Uh, heavy barricading that has been done uh, by the by the Delhi police at this point in time to make sure that not even one person is allowed to enter the national capital from anywhere out here in Singhu border because the memories of 26 January 2021 is something that is there to haunt the Delhi police. If I could just show you in the visuals below this flyover on which I am standing, you can see there are multiple layers of barricading that have been put up over here. Not only concrete barricading, but yes, uh, there are barbed wires and hundreds of uh, barricades that have been put over uh, put over here making sure that not even one person not even one vehicle of the farmers is allowed to get inside the national capital because as i mentioned what happened on 26 january 2021 is still hounding the delhi police as to the law and order situation that went that spiraled out of hand very very suddenly on the other hand the delhi police has now barricaded this entire flyover as well and traffic is being allowed to move from here in a very very slow and concreted ma manner uh, you can see that there is a very uh, slow flow of traffic that is coming from uh, uh, from uh, the national capital towards the singhu border because remember singhu border leads straight towards sonipat now if you talk about the promises that were made uh, to the farmers uh, in 2020 in 2021 when they finally decided to leave the prote uh, protest sites there were a lot of promises that were made including that all the cases that were filed against the farmers during the protest that should be taken back uh, msp on new crops uh, should also be given to them so uh, the discussion that happened yesterday what we are being told by the way of sources that the, yes the government has agreed to take back those cases and they say that within the next few days all these cases and fis that have been filed against farmers for their agitation during 2020 and 2021 protests that would be taken uh, taken back in a in, in, in a uh, in a manner uh, in a series but yes uh, the msv that the farmers are demanding and increased msv and also msv on new crops that the farmers are demanding the government says that yes a discussion and deliberation could happen on that and eventually a committee could be formed that could actually uh, look into these demands of but these farmers Anshul, because Anshul, yes, if you could tell our MSP audiences on... farmers continue to say that the government is taking too much time they're saying that the government is delaying it keeps asking for more time to implement these demands union ministers met with these farming committees it, in fact punjab chief minister bhagwant man took care and was moderating the first discussion, but farmers continue to say that the government keeps delaying. Can you tell our audiences more about how the meetings are going? 
Uh, so yes, uh, the last round of meetings happened late, uh, went on till late last night and what sources in that meeting from the side of farmers have told us that, the, that these meetings or the discussions have failed yet again and the farmers are going to carry on with their protests. But yes, we are waiting for that official, to get that officially uh, when the, once that press conference happens. But one thing is for sure is what uh, by the way of sources from the side of farmers have confer confirmed to us is yes, they are going to march towards the national capital. They still maintain that yeah, the government has still not obliged to the promises that it made to the farmers uh, before the Punjab elections because uh, it was being said that the government actually backed down from these three farm laws because of the uh, upcoming Punjab elections. Now, even after that, it has more than two years have passed and the government has still not responded. But yes, the gov what uh, the sources within the government are seeing that they have provided MSP to the farmers. A lot of cases against the farmers have also been taken back. Uh, but yes, uh, implementing new MSPs is a, is a very, very long process because yes, there are a lot of people uh, whose opinions need to be taken. It is mm. not all just on pressure building tactics okay. that something like MSP could actually be announced on products right. because it, it will have national ramifications as well. Uh, so yes, it remains to be seen what will transpire today. But yes, the first day and we are expecting that within the next few hours, farmers will start reaching over here okay. and just uh, for the benefit of our viewers, it is it is advised from the authorities as well to not take these routes uh, today and over the next few days as the traffic conditions over here are going to get from bad to worse. Okay, so our reporters on the ground giving you that traffic advisory but also giving you the information. Let's go over to our colleague Anvit to understand more. Uh, Anvit, now take us deeper into the issue itself. So that central guarantee that farmers are asking for, they're saying give us a legal guarantee that minimum support prices will be given at least. And they're also saying that the, the MS Swami Nathan Commission, the prices that were agreed upon according to that report, that should be given to farmers. Just take us into a deeper dive here, Anvit. What is so complicated about these demands? Why are these demands hard to deliver on for the government? Because it is a complicated situation. The market is very complicated. Just tell our audiences more here. Bring us more details. See, in 2020, when the farmers took siege of Delhi's borders, they had demanded re repealing of three farm laws. Now, all these three farm laws were repealed at that time. These were the Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Promotion and Facilitation Act of 2020, Farmers Empowerment and Protection Agreement on Price Assurance and Farm Services Act of 2020, and Essential Commodities Act 2020. These three farm laws were done away with. That was the Modi government decided to do away with all these three farm laws, and that is when the farmers had gone back and had left the Delhi, Delhi's borders. After that, it was decided that a committee will be formed to decide on the MSP and other issues that the farmers had been deciding. Now, three major demands of these farmers right now are, one is the, uh, of course, MSP is, we'll come to that later, but other demands are that full debt vapor for farmers. They are also demanding pension for labourers and farmers. Other than that, they have been demanding a guarantee of MSP for all crops and implementation of Swaminathan Commission. Now, MSP, we know that you know a minimum selling price is to be set for the crop because when there is abundance of crops of any particular crop, the price goes down. So the farmers are demanding that a minimum price to be set, a minimum price uh, should be set for these crops so that whenever there is abundance of any crop, that the prices okay. do not go down a certain Anvit, limit. I have just got to come back to you in a second. We have some breaking news coming in. The Supreme Court Bar Association President Adish Agarwala has written to the Chief Justice.